Hi guys, I think this is going to be the last version of this sh shawl in this pattern. I like how this one looks so far. It's not perfect, but uh, it looks better than the rest. I'm sorry about the noise in the background. We are still under quarantine. So we just have to put up with the noise. We're trying to make this video at night when my son goes to sleep. But I always keep falling asleep. I'm getting old. I can't resist the sleep. Alright, see, for this shawl I used yarn in three different colors, purple, blue and burgundy. So I'm using yarn in size 4 medium and a crochet hook in size 5 millimeters. I'll start by making a slip knot and then I will chain 6. So now that I chained six on the fourth chain from the hook, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, one double crochet. And through the next chain, one double crochet. And now I'll chain one, then I've got this yarn. The thing is about this pattern, after each row you have to Cut the yarn and start all from the beginning of the row on the right, regardless if you want to use multiple colors or not. So now that we have finished row one, you see here for row one we have uh, four double crochets in total, since this three chain at the beginning of row counts as one. So now for row two, you see here from the right side, we have three chains. So this first chain right here, see, right through that chain I insert my hook. Then I insert milk through a slip knot loop and pull through. Again, I'll chain six. On a fourth chain from the hook, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, one double crochet. And through this last chain, one double crochet. So now here, we're still going to work on these three chains, so we skip one chain into this third chain, we'll make one double crochet. Now we need to go up the ladder, so I'll chain three, through this next three, through this next, let's see, one, two, through this next two chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. And now I'll chain three. Then through his next double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So now we need to go down the ladder. So we'll chain six. Now through his fourth chain from a hook, I'll make one double crochet. And through his next two chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Now we need to join these two rows, so right here through this chain, which will be our first double crochet from our first row, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row two. So now for row three, I'll use yarn in different color. And again, we start right here at the beginning of row. So right here through this first chain, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now again I'll chain six. Then through this fourth chain from the hook I'll make one double crochet. And through his next two chains I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Now we need to level up here, so I'll skip one chain into the second chain, I'll make one double crochet. So just like that, now we need to go up the ladder, so I'll chain three. Actually these two colors go to well together as well, you see, I never see, uh, this was just by accident. Now through these next three chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. And now through his next third chain, which is our first double crochet, I'll make a slip stitch. Again, I'll chain three, 
then through his next two chains I'll make one double crochet through each chain sorry about the noise guys there's nothing I can do about it I'll chain three then right here through his next chain I'll make one double crochet now we're going down the ladder so through his next three chains I'll make one double crochet through each chain I'll chain three then through his next chain I'll make a slip stitch again I will chain six Now through his fourth chain I'll make one double crochet. Through his next two chains I'll make one double crochet through each chain. And I'll skip one chain through his second chain, one slip stitch. So this completes row three, but before we do that we chain one and then cut this yarn. Alright, so you see this completes row 3. Now for the pattern, we'll use row 3. Just repeat row 3 for the pattern. It's totally up to you how you decide to match the colors. Here, in my case, I'll show you what I did. So, as I said earlier, I, was, uh, I used three different colors. So, First, I did one row in purple, one row in blue, one row in burgundy. Then, two rows in purple, two rows in blue, two rows in burgundy. Three rows in purple, three rows in blue, three rows in burgundy. Four rows in purple. And then, guess what? I ran out of blue yarn, so I only made three rows in blue. Four rows in burgundy. Then, five rows in purple and five rows in burgundy. It turned out pretty nice actually. I like how it looks like I have a half a diamond kind of thing. And then here I made tassels. Don't worry, I left one corner here undone so I can show you how to do that. With tassels. So it's 28 inches wide. I mean long. 28 inches long and that is with tassels. It's actually quite wide but it's not as wide as the other version the first one the first one was really wide that I but I use it for a scarf let me double this in half this is the wrong side so don't panic so it's 70 inches wide so here I'm going to show you how to make the tassels so right here I'm gonna rub this strand of yarn around this box I I started by just using one strand for each chain for tassels but I did not like how it looked it looked I don't know it just did not look good at all and then I tried two and then I really like how two of them two strands of yarn uh, the effect is to give the the shawl it weighted it down in a way so let's see uh, let's measure First cut it and then we'll measure the length. So the length is of the strands is in 13 inches. 13 inches. So we'll just take two strands of yarn, fold it in half, then right here through this first chain, I will lock them in. That's it. Only that I did it from the wrong side. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. How did I make this now? So I think I'm supposed to do it this way. So right here through this chain, so right here through this first chain, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through this loop, pull through, and lock this, lock it in. Again. I use two more strands of yarn. I'll go through this next chain. 
then just lock these tassels in. Again, we'll take two strands of yarn, fold it in half. Now this too is also a double crochet. Only remember we it was a three chain that replaced a double crochet. So right here through a stop chain, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through his loop, pull through, and then we lock this tassel in. Repeat. I'll show you a couple more because uh, it's really just the same thing. Now we're going down the ladder, see? Right here through his next chain. I insert my hook and I'll lock these two strands of yarn in. Again, we go through his next chain. So right here through this third chain, we will lock these two strands of yarn in. Okay, let's see, let me show you this. So, we repeat this from one corner to another. So it's a triangle in a way, it's like a very wide triangle, but you know what I mean. So, but two, uh, two sides of a triangle, you repeat this. On this side here, you don't have to do anything. You just leave it as it is. So yeah, we just repeat this for both corners. And that's pretty much it. So this is how it looks. I actually like it. It turned out pretty, pretty well.